So Bayern Leverkusen loses their 35 game on beating run. That's 35 game home on beating run yesterday after they were defeated. Three goes to two by RB Leipzig. Victor Boniface and Nathan Teller obviously taking part in these games. And uh, to be honest, it was a very, very shambolic display from them because uh, they had to bottle a two goals lead uh, from the onset. Boniface obviously playing from the start of the game, uh, having a few chances, uh, I think up to five shots. Uh, attempted to score an acrobatic goal, which uh, didn't go on target, but he was it was beautifully played. Uh, but in the end, they lost that game. They actually started scoring, you know, from the first half. Uh, Pong getting a goal from the that's the first that's his eighth minute, sorry, and then uh, Grimaldo doubling it uh, in the forty fifth minute. But then they went to sleep, and uh, RB Leipzig showed their quality by coming back from a two zero to win these guys you know three two final score but it's just such a shambolic display of course it shows that this season is going to be different it's not uh going to be like last season that they were cruising you know having uh winning all the games and uh and uh, going unbeaten but interestingly victor boniface as i mentioned started the match and played 77, 77 minutes uh had five shots collected one yellow card for unruly behavior then Nathan Teller was later introduced in the game. Uh, it was just in the dime minute of the game. So he only played 13 uh, minutes, had one shot, and uh, that was it. Uh, these guys will hope to come back stronger next week after this performance that they won't particularly be proud of because it, it's hard to be proud of your performance when you, you're actually lo leading by two goals. And then in the end, you collect extra three to lose the game. Uh, but let's move forward. There are a lot of other nigerian players that uh, played for their club side and uh, played really well uh, let's go to, over to uh, france uh, to nantes where one of our very own uh, moses simon the very very talented ajay uh, winger played also of course if you follow this channel on the community tab i already posted that but uh, it's worthy to mention in this video moses simon came up uh, Top again for his Nantes as he scored uh, a goal in their 3-1 victory over Montpellier. And this is nice his uh, consecutive goals in about just three games this season uh, after, you know, he had a, a tough summer. Staying out, on, staying out due to injury, but the man is back and really, really fired up. And uh, it just gives me joy because I know that we have games coming up and these guys are, you know, really performing at the top level, getting goals for their club side. So it's, 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 it just fills me with excitement and some, some really high expectations for them when they come to play for Nigerian Super Eagles. And still on that game, we actually had uh, one of our brothers as well playing on the opposite side as uh, from Montpellier, uh, Akko Adams. He also uh, was very, very impressive in that game. He actually got their consolation goal. At the time he got the goal, it wasn't a consolation goal because uh, then Nantes were winning uh, through a goal from Ablin in the 24th minute. And then Akko, uh, Adam scored in the 30th minute, uh, you know, bringing the game to parity. So it was like on level ground for these two teams. But that wasn't enough to, you know, motivate this side as they went to sleep again and they collected this extra two goals. Uh, first from Moses Simon, doubling it to 2-1 and then uh, Mohamed scoring in the 85th minute. But in, in general, Apple Adams uh, showed his quality in, in this game. Uh, played for 90 minutes, got one goal, uh, actually getting one shot, scoring just from that one chance that he got. And then moving over to the EPL, uh, to the home of uh, Leicester City, we also saw the likes of Wilfred and Didi, uh playing an important role for their uh, defeat against Aston Villa. They actually uh, were beating two goals to one in that game. But Wilfred and Didi, uh tried his best. He got the assist for their only goal as scored by Bonamate. And uh, that man, that new sign of Aston Villa, Onana, continues to impress, scoring goals, you know, for fun uh, for this Aston Villa side. But the, the shows his quality, shows why he, he gets the nod to, uh, to start, you know, every game for Leicester City, actually uh, playing for um, 89 minutes before he was subbed in the, in the dime minute of the game. And then, as I mentioned, they got one assist for this match. Uh, but again, that's not all of it. We have lots of uh, players who actually played very well. Also, Gift Urbanes, uh, 
the word you mentioned here he's been on fire of blitz for uh, his leon side if Saban is showing that he still has a future with this leon side and he's fighting uh every day uh putting in effort to show that he can still uh be a great football player for this club side and the man showed this in their most recent game uh against strasbourg that was played on on friday night uh after he helped leon come from behind to defeat strasbourg four goes to three in a very very energetic match uh interestingly urban didn't start this game he was actually introduced from the from the bench at that point leon were actually losing but the man came in and then provided some really good uh some really good spirits really good motivations uh for this leon side uh scoring two goals you know in a number of uh, minutes uh from two shots actually which is very impressive and then had one yellow card uh for unruly behavior uh played a total of 31 minutes for this game and this goes to show that gift urban is serious of business of course we know how his hits uh suffered you know recently in this call because he's not um really been able to settle down as much as he wanted to you know uh even playing time has been an issue for him he's not he's not been getting a lot of playing times even in this game against Strasbourg that he scored two goals he still came from the bench to affect the game but I mean I'm sure going forward with these performances and the way he shows up in training and, and trains very hard uh it's going to you know get him more time more playing time and then hopefully more chances to uh, effect games like what he did on, on Friday. Good luck to the man and uh, he continues to fight to be called up to the Nigerian survival setup and uh, I hope that you know one day his, his, his star will definitely shine shine the brightest and he gets the call up that he so uh, deserves. And then moving over to the South African uh, league as a PSL league uh, we cannot you know finish this roundup of our Nigerian players who performed really well this weekend without talking about the latest uh invitee uh to the nigerian super egos that's the Odisanda, very very talented defender that recently gets called back into the squad to play uh, these games on the 7th and 10th but Sanda was actually in action as he helped his uh, orlando pirate side reach uh the cup final that's the mtn 8 final after orlando pirates beat uh cape town city fc two goes to zero uh, that's actually their, the return leg of their MTN 8 uh, semi-finals and you know the total margin was 3-1 uh, on aggregate the first leg actually ending 1-1 one, one, you know from both sides but uh, this final game saw them put two past uh, Cape Town City FC and that was uh, a very very impressive figure for this game uh, he actually captained his, his Orlando Pirates side to this victory which is instrumental and just goes to show the, the uh, you know the uh, the impact that he's had on this team that he's had on the football pitch and this is what we've been missing you know the nigerian survive goes leadership people who can impact games people who can not just play the football but also organize these teams and help them play better and i think olisanda is going to bring this to to the table for for the super goes that calmness that ability to to read games that leadership quality uh, to the defense and it, it's also good as well because now we have uh William just Ekong back back on the squad and we know what Ekong brings to the table uh, you know calmness leadership quality um defensive quality top top level and uh and, and and all of that so that's what's happening right now a lot of our players are obviously impressed uh, even though not all of them are on the winning side definitely some are going to be on the losing side just like the uh, dd but again you can't take away you know the impact that they've had indeed of course also had impact despite being on the losing side but that's the updates guys today is sunday and uh, i'm sure definitely there will be more uh more of our players will be involving in some capacities for the, for their different club sides so i'll definitely be talking about them when everything is down uh hopefully they get you know good performances and uh we'll come here to talk about it that's the video guys thanks for watching don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel guys share the video and uh, stay tuned more updates coming soon